Welcome to Kanor, India. This beach paradise in northern Kerala is known for its fish markets and culture. We're going to check out a rare Thayam ceremony, which involves fire dancing that made me swear like this. Those guys owe me a new camera. We're also exploring Kanor's food scene, beef chili, patel with mutton liver, and kalumakaya. It's so tender, rich, and succulent. Everything is made with coconut. It's no wonder Kerala is the land of coconuts. We're jumping into this adventure right now. This is Kanor, Kerala, India. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing great. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Kasagat, Kerala, the northernmost part of the state. Today, I'm super excited because I'm attending an Indian Christian wedding. Now, the way it works here is that once the bride and groom get married, there's a huge reception. 1,500 people are attending. So they have to cook a feast for 1,500 people. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go in straight to the kitchen, see them cooking a massive feast, then we're gonna go eat and hopefully dance with the bride and groom. All right, are you guys ready? I'm excited, let's go inside. This is it. They're cooking up so much food. They have onions, papaya. What's up guys? Wow, huge. So right here guys, we have the duck roast masala. Check this out. Oh my god, this masala smells fantastic. The aroma hits you hard. A little bit of chilies, so many spices. What is this? This is amazing. Amazing. Oh, I can't wait to eat this one, man. David, this is Kutanad and Kutanad is Alapi. We have been to that place? Yeah. We have been to that place? This is Kutanad and duck. Duck curry. <laughs> After half a boiling the duck pieces, then we have to mix it with masalas. Masalas are pre cooked. But, uh, David, why don't you try? Come. Okay, my turn. Oh, mix that duck. Oh, this is a tough job. Wow. Huge chunks of duck here. What do we got? 50 ducks? <laughs> this is really amazing. The color is so nice and yellowish. Oh man, this is tough. Alright, I can't anymore. <laughs> that hurt. David, this is a part of biryani. This biryani is completely different from Kori Kod biryani and Thalasiri biryani. Here, chicken and masala are kept separate and rice will be cooked separate. In the plate, they will mix it together. And this side, this is beef. Beef uh, curry, it's not curry, beef broth. So what they are going to do is, they are going to cook this one for three hours. Slow cooking. And all this gravy, it should dry out. So it's really hard to be in this kitchen because of all the smoke, but as you can see, this like beef roast. Ooh! It, you smell the spice, it like it hits you hard. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is really, really awesome. But yeah, I gotta stay away from this pot. It's just it's bursting out of heat. There's a lot, a lot of wood under it. This gentleman right here is making rice dough. The way it works is that he grabs a plate, two plates, three plates of rice, goes into this machine, and then he grinds it down and makes dough. He keeps pulling it out, throws more, pulls out, and that's how he makes the rice dough. Next up over here, we have them grating coconut flesh. So they cut the coconuts in half, and then use this machine to grate, and that's it. Oh, that's the best. Can I have a little bite? A little bite? Oh, whoa. That's good. Over here, they're squeezing all the limes, and they give me some lime juice. Mm. Oh wow, so refreshing. 
Look at this. So much work. So much work to feed 1,500 people. I mean, that's a lot of people. Wow. Incredible. Rice, duck roast, coconut, chilies, rice, dough, lemon. <laughs> These guys don't stop with the rice. They keep making more and more biryani. They just took out the rice from over there, you know, separated from the water, brought it over here, put on this huge pot, and it's like a humongous rice soup, which will eventually break down, and that will be biryani. Over here, this is like a fish curry. It looks super rich. This curry leaves. I'm sure, it's gonna be spicy, dude. I'm gonna try every single dish, every dish. Can I have a piece of chicken? No, that's a biryani. That's a biryani. <laughs> The rock they are putting for wheat and the charcoal, it's burning charcoal here. Yeah? While we cover and keep, there will be vapor. Vapor is coming on the, the lid and it starts raining inside. So it spoils the biryani. So to absorb that vapor, they're using the rock on the top. Uh, sorry, the coal on the top. Once they seal the biryani, they have to let it sit there for about 90 minutes. And now what they're gonna do is they're gonna mix the chicken masala. They're gonna put all the ingredients to make the masala and they're gonna add the chicken. Okay, let's watch it. We call it as mappas, duck mappas. We tried this one in Tori shop, similar version, similar version. They just opened up the first biryani as you can see. You got coriander, cashew nuts, raisins, crispy onions, and the aroma just hits you. So good. My yeah. God, I cannot wait so for this. Open the next one also. Oh, let's open the next one. Okay, okay. Here we have the beef roast. It's almost done. Yeah, it's spicy. Do you wish to try one? Yeah, I'll try one. Okay. Let's take one piece. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. How is it? Oh my god, it's like butter. It just evaporated in my mouth. Mmm. A little spicy. Not so bad. You definitely need something to go with it. Maybe some rice, maybe appam. Appam. Appam, patri, parata. I don't know. You know what? Give me some more. <laughs> this is a chicken pieces in masala for Kasago chicken biryani. Let me, we can try one small piece. This is chicken. This is chicken. Let me take a small piece. It's really hot, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is like a, like a nice. <laughs> Spicy fried chicken. Mm. And slightly sweet. Slightly sweet. Onion. Is that what it is? Mm. I was thinking the coriander. 
but I guess I gotta let, let Heidi pee right here. Oh, wow. Mmm, it is so sweet. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> I love fried chicken. <laughs> yeah. David, this is known as Chicken 65. It's fried chicken, but specifically Chicken 65. There are two reasons why it is known as Chicken 65. One, the chicken is cut into 65 pieces. That can be one reason. The another reason people say is that it has 65 different masalas. Both way people explain it. We're walking over to the reception area and here you can see they're doing like a live kitchen. So, you know, they're pressing all the dough, making some booties. Over here they're making what? This is appam. Appam, uh, plain hapas. Love them. I've seen a lot of this in, in Sri Lanka. Oh, he's just throwing them like that? He's just tossing them? Right, I want to see that again, I want to see that again. These two guys don't stop making appam. Look at this. So they have like eight different pans. Two finished, they'll throw them in the air. Then they'll put dough again, another dough, cover it. They keep doing the process over and over and over. And over here we have easily like 300, 400 appams. They're not gonna stop until they have at least a thousand. At least a thousand, right? Looks like puris, they are known as neipatas. It's very special in Kannur, Kannur district. Uh, it's, puri is from uh, wheat flour, but this one is from rice flour. The way they make the nepate is it's almost the same as a puri, right? So he bashes the dough, he flattens it, then he throws it in the fryer, takes like two minutes, and then it puffs up. Here we go, I have one in my hands. Mm. This is the same thing, just yeah. white flour. Yeah. The flour is different. Mm. I love this because with this, you scoop up everything. Mmm. Pure crispy on the outside. I love how it's still a little doughy in the inside. Like a dough stuff. This is good with mutton. With mutton? Mmm. You gotta save some space. Got a lot of food coming. As soon as the guests enter the reception, they're gonna be greeted with some shakes. There's watermelon, they also have kiwi, they have pineapple. It's pure, but they add a little bit of sugar. Mmm. Fantastic. I'll have another one. That's damn dusty. Super refreshing. It's super hot outside right now. We were also in the kitchen, so it's like an extra heat, but uh, I need something to cool me down. Oh, super minty. Lots of sugar, though. Oh, that's great. This one right here is a must melon. Yeah. Wow, sweeter. It's almost like a almost like a daiquiri. It's like a banana daiquiri. That's like the thickness of it. <laughs> and this is what? Pineapple mint? Pineapple mint. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. Good. Good combination. Yeah. 1,500 people reception, you have to go buffet style. Obviously, you can't have servers serving 1,500 people. That'd be crazy. So what do they have here? They have apam, neipatal, so they're the two doughs, right? So it's like almost like a like a dosa and almost like a puri. And you have the duck curry, the beef curry, and the chicken biryani. And what they just did is they brought the chicken to the back and the biryani to the back, huge pots, right? And they serve the chicken and they serve the rice in separate plates. So when you serve yourself, you put obviously chicken and then rice. I can't wait to eat this food. It's gonna be really, really amazing. After seeing the entire process and cooking every single dish, put it in my mouth finally. Oh, can't wait. Indian wedding food. Let's do this. We are waiting for the bride and groom to come inside. Once they come in, uh, they will go and greet them, wish them. Then it's time for food. So over here, everybody just sitting down. Over here, we have the old man just playing cards. <laughs> Congratulations. So Evan, I see people are standing and eating. Is this like people do this here? Like no, no. Actually, we are supposed to sit and eat. That's the way. But they do not have that much time to go for the second round, so they decided to stand and eat and go. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, so people are sitting, some people are standing. It's a it's a mix, right? David, try this. 
This is mint tea. Mint lemon tea. Yeah, mint. Minty, minty. This is what we call meter high chai. Or meter chai. It looks like a meter and a half chai. Woo! Scorching. Minty, lemon. Oh wow. He's doing it, he's doing it. <laughs> David, this is Jomish. He is the one who invited us here. Thank you, Jomish. Thank you so okay, much. Thank you. A wonderful experience. Thank you. David, let's start with the starters. This is chicken 65. We're starting off with the chicken 65. Masala, chicken, fried. I think there's a little bone here. Mmm. Nice and juicy. Not spicy. Nice masala. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good. You hungry? Yes, I'm hungry. What's your name? I'm Seven. Seven? Yes. Alright, join me, Seven. Okay. Eat. There's too much food here. Nice. We have to pass it around. <laughs> And I grab this like this? Yeah. What is this again? Vitagon. Vitagon? Yeah. It's nice. It's super dry though. Still, still some moisture inside. Super. Deep fried on it. And add juice in it. And add it. David, you can either take appam or napatal or both. 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 You can take. Grab one of each. Yeah. Got the beef curry, got the duck curry, got the appam, and the nepotal. Nepotal. Nepotal, which is like the rice curry. Yeah. Similar. So let's start with the appam and the beef. Grab a little bit of appam, one hand. A little bit of beef curry. Oh, let it absorb it. Mmm. Great marriage. Nice tender beef, it's a light curry, not too spicy. I think the duck's gonna be spicier. I think beef is Yeah. So next time we've got some of this and some duck. And what you have to do is break up duck. You don't want to get any bones in your mouth. Get some of that flesh. Strip it apart. They have duck has tiny bones. Just gotta separate. Very similar to like a chicken, right? And then you mix this. Get some more of that. So the curry. Mmm. Oh, I love the crispiness of this. Mm. Nice and doughy. This again, super light. Not, not, nothing too spicy here. Very easy going. Mm. Well, I personally like to beef more. Which one is spicy? Beef or? Beef, but nothing, nothing crazy. My two favorites are the beef curry and the napatel, which is like the puri. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna join them. Yeah, enough. Good portion of the wasala right there. Boom. And just straight to the mouth. Mm. Right. Next up, we have to try the chicken biryani. So we got the rice. Oh wow, mountain of rice. A nice chicken. A little more chicken, a little more chicken. Thank you, perfect. That's how we do it. Break it up, and once you break off a little bit, right, and you go in, you start mixing. You don't want to put too much, right? You want the, the masala to be absorbed by the rice, make a nice little ball, in the hand like that. Mm. Oh, wow. Nice and creamy. Small grain rice is amazing. And the best part is the friedness, because this is actually, it's like a light fried, but it still feels like fried chicken with masala. Right, it's almost having like the three, uh, 65, chicken 65, with rice. Similar. Mm. Too tasty. In North Carolina, it's all about biryani. You can go to Calicut, Destiny, and here. And this one, I'd say it's up there with those two. I mean, in terms of quality, deliciousness, it's not sweet, it's more just creamy, right? Oh, Kassar God, Kassar God. This is biryani plus meals together. I added biryani 
curry, fish, chicken, pickle, everything. And I add the fish to mine. Super red. Red biryani. Mm. Spicy. Nice and delicious. So creamy. And lastly, we have dessert. We have kher halva and we have ice cream with some fruits. So I just mix it all together. Mm. Blueberries, pineapple. I love the kher halva. It's almost like a carrot cake. A little different, but similar. Mm. The best thing to do is to get the vanilla ice cream, get a bunch of fruit from the bottom, and strain them out. There's the perfect dessert for this weather. It's really hot, this cools you down. And yeah guys, that's our Indian wedding. My first, not my last. I went to the kitchen, saw how they made everything. 1,500 people, crazy. Beef curry, duck curry, chicken biryani, appam, and the nepata. Everything was super delicious. What I love doing, getting the nepata and mixing with the beef curry. And then also when I added the fish, like that fish curry into the biryani, that was like stellar. I mean, the entire experience is awesome. You know, you see the bride and groom come, Everybody starts eating, they're standing, they're sitting, they're mingling. That's what it is, you know, it's an experience. It's to come, eat, enjoy, you know, be with friends and family. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And subscribe to me, Food and Travel. And I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in India. Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here coming at you live at 4.30 in the morning from Kanar, Kerala, India. Today I'm super excited because I'm gonna see Tham. Tham is like a ritual that's part of this district. It happens between November and February. There's like 500 different varieties and it's, it's, ah, it's so wild. I have no idea what this is about, but basically they paint some guy, he becomes like a god, and then he walks through fire. So actually, now we are here to witness a different varieties of Tayam known as Vainatu Kulovan. There is a lot, like 500 varieties as you tell. But this is Vainatu Kulovan. We'll see what happens inside. I'm excited. The second I saw the photos of this, I was like, oh no, I gotta see it. I can't wait. This is gonna be amazing. No one's covered this. It's very, very rare. Like, for actually to get to see it yeah. is really, really hard. Because we have to travel deep inside a village yeah, to get to here. We had to like, he has a friend who got us here, but they won't give up the location with that with like follow them. So this, crazy. Yeah, so crazy. So crazy. <laughs> it's gonna be great though. And uh whoa, this is like a whoa. It's like a big gathering here. Actually we are in a small temple known as Kavu. Kavu means it will be a very small temple deep inside a village or something like that. A very small setup as you see over here. So we are gonna see now how they paint the place. Now what we are seeing is the makeup of uh, Guligan. So Guligan is considered as Lord Shiva. So they are worshipping uh, Guligan as Lord Shiva and he is going to perform for around like an hour. After that the Vainat Kulavan is coming. Vainat Kulavan is actually, he's actually a very old man. He is very blind. He is considered as the son of Lord Shiva. So how's the, that's how they are worshipping. So the first one is this one who is white with some black stripes. Now they are putting on the headpiece with like super long hair and then they're gonna put a mask on top right the big thing and the other guy is just like red and scary <laughs> red and scary wow so a lot of people here to get this guy ready uh it's like you know it's a performance so he's the one who is gonna split off the fire and everything like that he's at the end he'll come
So what they are saying now is the story they are talking in between, like the stories that has happened. Before. That's what they are talking about. Mananga vinyo divya nindu veru mittu kaila nadan The first half was for one hour The guy went crazy on the stills Now we have the final act Which is the guy in the red Very scary <laughs> Very very scary And what he's gonna do is gonna come out here He's gonna start kicking the fire Kicking the fire up He's gonna walk across the fire It's gonna be a spectacle It's really dark We still have about an hour before sunrise It's like 5.45 in the morning And here we go
What an experience. Thayam. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. I burned my feet. <laughs> Even I was not wearing his socks. I know, man. Hey, the, the, the fire flew into my hand. Yes. But I mean, the whole experience was epic. Starting from the beginning with the first guy, then the second guy gets just wild. He's the blind guy. And that's like, for me, that was the most like impactful, you know? Really cool. I've never seen something like this before in my life. Uh -huh. You know, it's only found here in Kanor, November to February. Yeah, like end of February. And the only it's way, three. the only way for them to get here is to contact you, right? Yeah, you can contact <laughs> me. Yeah. Actually, this is just a small one. There's a bigger one than this, like with bigger fires. And so it depends like where it happens. And okay. Wow. like that. I mean, it was worth it. Woke up at uh, 3.45 in the morning. Now it's 7.30. Woo, I'm tired. Okay. But it was great, it was great. Guys, I hope you love this experience. I highly recommend coming to Kerala, driving all the way up to Kanor and seeing this. Must see, must see. <laughs> it was mind blowing actually, I mean, it was crazy. It, but It was really good, <laughs> it was really good. It's, it's worth waking up. Yeah, days. yeah. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Kerala, India, peace. Good afternoon everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Kanur District, Northern Kerala, India. Today I'm very excited because I'm taking you on a mini road trip from Kastergaard all the way back down to Kanur. It's like a 90 minute drive. And right now we stopped at this temple. It's a Hindu temple, it's like a walled Hindu temple. And we're gonna go and feed some fish. After all this, we're gonna go back down to Kanur. We're gonna go on an amazing Indian street food tour. I haven't eaten in Kanur yet, so I'm super excited. Are you guys pumped? Are you with me? Let's go. Actually, this is Payanu Subramanya Swami Temple. Uh, Payanu is a place name between Kastergaard and Kannu and Subramanya Swami is Lord Subramanya, one of the Hindu lords. The temple is closed now from 12 p.m. up to 5.30 p.m. It remains closed. Anyway, but we can visit. There is a small pond here, not so small, but a pond here. Uh, plenty of fishes there. So we can feed them if possible. This is not a small pond. <laughs> it's pretty big actually. But there's no animals, right? Just fish? That's it? It's like tiny fish all over the place. Where are the turtles at? There are plenty of fish. Not only tiny, big ones. Can you see that? Yeah. Pretty big. Yeah. yeah. Those are like koi. No? So there's a bunch of puff rice right here on the border. And this guy is just like collecting as much as he can. And he's throwing it in. You can see huge fish are coming from the bottom. They're like at least like a meter long. Big, big fish. They look like koi, but they're like gray. Yeah, no, but they're they're definitely catfish, the big ones. The small ones are more like like minnows, like tiny little, like bait fish, you know, mm -hmm. like stuff you feed other animals with. Yeah. This guy's like he's just filling up the water here, so all the rice comes out. David, we got some puff rice. We can leave it. Fish. We can feed them. Okay. Try this. Don't throw it to the middle of the pond. Show me, show me. Wow. Did you grab one? Like vacuums. <laughs> Fish are like vacuums, man. They don't stop eating. Oh my god. There's somebody. Oh, he almost grabbed one. I know. It's coming now. See? Let's feed them. How many there are? So even if the temple's closed, you can still feed the fish. This entire bag costs 20 rupees. Come on, my friends. Whoa, over there is like a million of them. There's so many. They really just don't stop, like little vacuum cleaners. Whoa, look here, look here, look here. How they come out?
Don't throw on the I mean, I think it was worth it. Yeah, it was. Only that we couldn't visit the temple, no problem. In case you are passing through and you want to visit the temple, this temple specific does not allow anybody who's not a Hindu to come in. So if you're Christian, Muslim, whatever you are, if you are not Hindu, you can't come in. But that's not the case in every single Hindu temple. I've been to so many Hindu temples where they allow me in. Yeah. So and same thing with some some mosque. I know that they're like very strict, you know. So it's it's okay though. I mean, I think it's definitely worth it to see the walls. Go over there, uh, feed the fish. If you're passing through, it takes an extra like 15 minutes if you want to do it. Yeah. And now, Kanur, maybe we get some uh, sugar cane juice on the way. If you, I mean, maybe we'll get. I, I saw, know. I saw a few. You saw? Man, try. this is India. <laughs> hey, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a divider with a World the, Cup statue. There was a World Cup statue as a divider in the middle of a road. In what town are we in? In what village? Bayanu. Bayanu? Yeah. So now you know, Bayanu. They really love football here. Here in Kerala, people love football. Kerala Police is a good team. Also FC Cochin and Kochi has another team. What's that? Kerala. Kerala, no? Sugar cane juice? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we're all falling asleep. We're super tired. It's been a long day. Oh, we need some sugar. Sure to wake us up. Woo! Hello. How are you? Very good, you? One go. Wow. Mm, nice line. So it costs 60 rupees, which is basically like 88 cents or something for three. Great deal. Thank you. All right, let's go. We still have an hour and like five minutes. We're gonna sunset in Kanur. Uh, in Kanur, we have plenty of food varieties. Like Kanur, Korikot, they have similar in certain areas, but uh, too many different varieties here. So this part that we have crossed, this is Kanur city. It's known as Kanur city. And there's a very old masjid. There's a museum here. There's a palace and there's a fish market. I bought fish from there and cooked fish once. We're gonna eat some street food. Oh my boy, Russian. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready to eat. Good food here, right? Good food. Good food, good people. The first thing we're trying tonight is putu with beef, which is basically like rice powder mixed with like a beef curry. He grabs the rice powder, he like breaks it up, he mixes it with the beef curry, then on top of it he puts cucumber, some uh, some lettuce, onions, and carrots. This looks incredible. It actually just looks like a like a rice mash with beef, right? First bite. Mmm. It straight up tastes like polenta. Like a polenta, spicy polenta. Wow, it is great, man. Awesome. beef very tiny but mixed with like some chilies you also have what else in here yeah more onions just more onions oh my god guys if you don't know I love polenta my family's Italian I eat that every day but this is unreal it's like great mix of the spiciest polenta you've ever had basically not veg I can't finish this plate. You guys are gonna have to help me. How is that spice? Mmm. Spice. Mm. 
spice is so good. A little bit of black pepper in here too. The best thing here though is the is the mix with the onions because it cools down the heat. Alright guys, I'm gonna share this with my friends because if I keep eating this, I'm not eating any more dishes. I need to try like four more dishes tonight. Mmm. So good. So grainy. Love the rice powder. Wow. <laughs> wow. I love putum beef. It's a great combination, putum with beef. It's really good. Spicy, no? You can really taste the spicy. It's amazing. Mm. I gotta slow down because I need to eat more. It's spicy, but the onion helps. Mm. So good. 80 rupees. So a dollar and 10 cents, dollar 20 cents US. That's fine. He's actually making tea. It depends on the people, like how they are. Do you want to be the ginger or not like that? Right. I love ginger. It's the best thing for your stomach, for your throat. Always get it with ginger. Now we're going to continue here. You know, each one in this block has similar food. So instead of going here and sticking to one guy, we're going to jump around and see what else there is. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So now we'll go to another place to try something different. Woo. Hi. So from here, we are going to try something different, like tapioca. Tapioca with missiles. They love tapioca here in Kerala. They love it. They have it all over the state. You can try it mixed with different things, but here we're going to try it with mussels, spicy mussels. I can't wait. Seafood, we're on the coast. The water's right there, the Arabian Sea. So with this, the great combination is the tea, the meter tea. So he's going to make a tea, meter tea for you. And this is it, tapioca with small mussels that comes super spicy and we got a chai, meter chai, right? So what I do, just go in, get a little curry leaf. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. We love tapioca, nice for veg. Mm. Mm. The mussel, it's basically become like part of tapioca. They're both like united really well. Mm, tapioca is super, super soft. Oh my god, this is so good. It's spicy, spicy. You got chilies, curry leaves. A nice crust with the onion. Whoa. It is so good. Mmm, the chai. Hey, good combination. It, it like pairs well together. I love how these are like almost like just mashes makes with some type of non-veg or some seafood. What's cool about it? In the South, you have such a variety, so many dishes, seafood, non-veg, veg, spice, spice, spice. Chili, curry leaf, a few mussels. Mmm. Mmm. All right, I'm falling in love every day more with the seafood down here in Kerala. Wow. Mmm, big chili. It's like a brush it. Just pour down sweat. Oh, my sinuses. Mmm. Thing is that all these dishes, they're big. Like they're really filling, and they're only 80 rupee. 80 rupee. Dollar twenty. Dollar ten. Dollar twenty. So worth it. This is phenomenal. Another incredible dish here. So far, I only spent 160 rupees. Oh, and the chai. Chai chai all day. Oops. It's hard, huh? It's hard to get on. It's really good, man. 
it is really good, but it's really, really spicy. Can't stop eating it. <laughs> yeah. Why would you? It's phenomenal. And it's healthy. That's the best part. It's really healthy. Nothing's fried here, right? Nothing fried. That's the biggest difference. When it's fried, there you lose the health. Woo! More chai. Meter chai. Oh, it's hot. Hot. <laughs> Oh, that's good chai. Ginger chai. Mmm, chai is super hot. Chicken curry, chicken masala, beef curry, pepper chicken, beef fry, beef masala, liver, liver masala, boti, kada, kada, kada masala, chicken jelly, chicken gawabu, chemine, kundale, mati malate, kada la curry. So roughly 40 different combinations, 40 mixes, they have like 40 mixes. Because they get tapayoko and they'll mix it with like yeah. three or four different yeah. things. That's four dishes. That's four dishes. Wow. So we're going to... Like everything. Like with food too and everything like that. Wow, that's, that's how it works. Same thing with the dosa, right? Dosa is the same thing. Yeah, so dosa you can mix with some of something else. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's saying like it's not yet finished. He has more in the list. Oh, he has more in the list? I mean, it's hard to remember what he said first, right? <laughs> Kappa Mutta, Parota Mutta, Dosa. Okay. Dosa? Dosa, Dosa. Dosa, Chapati, Puri. Chapati, I love Puri. I love Puri and Dosa. So, guys, I think what we're going to do is that we're going to go to another neighborhood to try some other stuff because here all these are selling basically the same stuff. It's like an open air food court. Think like food like food trucks but they're not trucks right they stay here in this area they always stay here there's always set up and yeah side of the road. yeah everybody's in the wrong side of the road they're basically just like trying to get ahead fast uh, this is you where are you yeah over there over there I was like where are we Gotta get out of the roads here in India it's like this though there's a uh, it's a little it's a little lawless on the streets you know now we are here to the next place we'll be eating from here it's a little different than the other place the other place felt more like like little food trucks this was like more similar, but more like a restaurant, a restaurant look. look. From here, we are gonna try mutton liver with patel, the mix, because mix is famous over here. Patel? Patel, patel means this one. Whoa, what is that? That's known as patel, the one we have seen frying over there. That's what it is. Okay, that's like, it's like a puri? It's, it's not a puri, it's a Malabar dish. Ne patil. We call it ne patil. So you mix that we mix with that the with mutton the liver. Mutton liver. Okay. It's gonna be awesome. That sounds amazing. That's amazing. Oh my god, another amazing dish. You know the best thing about being here in Malabar Coast is that it's like 100, 200 dishes. A lot of dishes. Yeah, easily. A lot of dishes. Whoa, and they're doing non-stop here. So he's cutting that up. Over here he's making parotas. Over there he's frying some stuff up. Here we have like, uh, I think that's beef curry. I think that's, what is that? Duck curry? That's mutton. That's mutton? That's mutton. It's mutton curry. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen that much mutton up here yet, but I guess there is a lot. There's a lot of mutton. There's yeah. a lot. There's a lot. Now we are gonna eat beef chili. It's famous around here, like beef chili is a really spicy one. Beef with chili, onions, and everything like that. You're gonna see how they make it. It's not chili like in America. This is like beef and actual chilies. Woo! It's like a stir fry. Oh, 
And here we go, the barota and the beef chili. And this beef chili is not like chili in America. This is it's beef different. with chili. Beef with chili. That's it. Like the onions, the capsicum, the spices, and everything like that. Yeah, so there was the, the main ingredient here is the red chili flakes, and then it's actually a green chili. There's onions, and how do capsicum I do this? Capsicum and everything like that. Capsicum. So how you wanna eat is like, you'll take a parota, a small bite of parota, you'll take the beef with you, and you'll eat it. Let's do it together then. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I love the parota. It's very flaky. Lots of layers. So crispy. Yeah. crispy. <laughs> you have ghee. So you <laughs> Always. So you're gonna take a small piece like this. Small, okay. Yeah. Small enough. So we do like this. Okay. You take an amount of beef in it. Like you stuff inside. As much as possible, right? How much as possible and you just... Mm. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. It's That's spicy. something different, right? That's so different. Spicy. It's tender. It's juicy. Super juicy. Super juicy. Mmm. And that, it. tell me, tell me. We tell it, porota is the best combination for this one. For this one? For this one. Let's do another one. Small bite, please. Yeah, small bite, guys. You don't want to grab the whole thing because then you're gonna. <laughs> you, you basically have like four bites in one go. And we stuff as many beef as you can inside. As many as you can. <laughs> like a big amount. Mmm. 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 Awesome. It's good. Juiciness as you told, like. So, yeah. I love it, red chili flakes. For me, like, when I eat, like, pizza, sometimes I eat pasta, I'll add that. Because it just gives it a little heat, you know? Sorry, I'm gonna get a little more. This is too good. Oh. Wow. Mm. I'll try something without the porota. Without it. This reminds me of like a Chinese dish. Like Chinese beef, okay. like Mongolian beef. It's a little fried. Okay. It has like a sweet sauce, but this one's like more sweet and spicy. Spicy. Yeah. That's what it is. And, like, they kill the sweet, it's just like spicy. <laughs> Add more spice in it. Good. Here, have another bite. Cheers. Cheers, man. Mmm. 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 Up tonight, that's my favorite dish. That's why I told you you should try beef today. Mmm. <laughs> mm. I can eat this alone. Just like, eat it. I will actually. Mmm. I love the beef strips. I think we still have another dish coming up, no? Yeah, we have another one making. We'll go there. We'll not miss it out. Maybe. What is it? Yeah, the one I told you, like the pastel with mutton liver. Okay. Sorry, I'm I forgetting because there's so many dishes. There's like 40 <laughs> dishes here and I've been like learning about all of them. Up. Our last dish is a mutton liver with with patel. Patel. With patel. Okay, so patel is almost like a puri, similar. Another it's thing. It's similar, but the dough is different. The dough is different. The they cut it up they into cut little it strips. Small pieces and they add, mix it with the mutton and we eat it. Wow, I mean, it looks amazing. You have onions on top, you have the patel throughout, and then you have the liver and masala, right? Always. Yeah, always. So we're mixing, we're mixing this. Let's dive in. Oh my god, try. it's gonna be hot. I can see it, it's steaming. Oh, it's gonna be good. Ready? Oh. Mm. Mm. So it's like doughy, it's crispy. You got the liver, the liver taste. Always, everywhere in the world, same type of thing, you know? Yeah. It's a little dense. We can add spice, I guess. Like, we have to tell them if you need more spice in it. Yeah, man, at this point, I'm gonna be like, hey, it's not spicy enough. Make it spicier. <laughs> I got a big bite. Right. Mm. Mm. Wow, I'm blown away. The curry has getting into the pasta. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like sort of like melting through, right? Yeah, melting through. Oh, it's like absorbed it. 
different. I like what I have about the pata is that it's doughy in the inside. So it's crispy outside, doughy inside. It's a little different, right, from a regular foodie. And then I like the onions too, because it's a little crunch. Comes on the heat. Not too much heat at all, but I'll spice. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. I'll have one more bite. <laughs> I mean, Can't stop eating. That's it, man. Remember, perfectly cooked. This is what's the coolest part about this area of Kerala. So much diversity in cuisine. Like I told you earlier, 40 different combinations. Here, I'm sure it's the same thing. Another 30 or 40. So you can easily do like 100 different dishes yeah. if you want to. You can mix as many as you want. Like. Yeah. Sort of different mixes. Perfect. Dessert? How we'll go for dessert? Something sweet. Something really sweet. Ready. I, I don't want like a smoothie. I want like something sweet. Sweet. <laughs> we'll try. We'll try what we get now. Awesome. Actually, it's 190 in total. 90 rupees for the liver with the patel. 80 rupees for the beef chili. And 10 rupees each for the porota. So it's total 190. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank welcome. you so much. Again, welcome. I will. I will. I will. Thank you. Time for some sweets. Last thing of the night, sweets. How many can we try, 10? <laughs> so now we are on another part of Kannur, like the old bus stand. This place is known as old bus stand. So this place is known as Calicut uh, drink. So it's very famous in Kannur. We are gonna drink Kadi from here. Kadi means it's, it's a dry food shake. It's really sweet. It's famous in Kannur. Bam. Pleasure, pleasure, nice to meet you guys. We want three. Mundkadi. Yeah. America. America. This one is carrot. 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 This is like my uh, my starter here. What's the volume? I eat that one. Oh wow! Mm. Amazing. Love it. Thank you. Carrot. Carrot smoothie. Really nice. Good. Very milky. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's frozen milk with carrots. Amazing, my friend. Right there, let's do yeah. it. So this is known as kadi. Okay. Dry fruit shake. Walnuts, almonds, cashew nuts, yeah. mixed with milk cream. Okay. With sugar. Now we see. <laughs> with India. Is, is any dish? available in your country? Yeah, but any dish. These, these ingredients are coming from your own country only. Are they? Yeah. Yes. It's basically a nutty, milky, slushy, slushy, slash smoothie. Mm. Oh wow, too refreshing. Running into fans here. Let's drink this. Selfie time. After all that spicy foods we have eaten, now it's so refreshing. It's really, really, really good. We call it kadi because of the crunchiness that you get inside your mouth. So kadi means crunchy in Malayalam. The kadi costs 80 rupees each, roughly $1.10, $1.20. Good deal. Really refreshing. After all the heat, this is what you need. That's why here in India, every time you eat something spicy, you have something cold after. Usually a lassi, but that's more north. Here you don't have lassi, here you have this stuff. I like it though, here. Mm. Love the crunch. Mm. Pistachio, almond. My friends, I feel great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. So good. Okay, thank you. I'm good at food now. Okay. <laughs> Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you.
So we just made it back to the Seashell Harris Beach Home. It's where I'm staying for three nights. Right here on the beach. Amazing property. 18 rooms. And my friend said that he has a surprise for me. Oh, here he is. Oh, that's a surprise? A surprise for you. Oh my god, that's King a surprise. Strong. My favorite beer <laughs> in India. Kingfisher Strong. Oh, let's pop it, dude. Let's pop yeah, it. Sure. It's great. Woo! Ah. Look at this, look how big this is. They give it to you like almost a liter. That's a liter. Six, almost. 750? Oh, thanks for the surprise, dude. Enjoy. I don't think I need it because I'm full, but. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, I hope you enjoyed the day. We had an incredible day starting off at Casa God, all the way down to Kanor. We started off at the temple, fed the fish, then made our way down, tried some sugarcane juice, and finally hit up the street food. Tons of street food. We tried four things plus dessert, my favorite thing for sure was the beef chili. That was outstanding. One of the best dishes in Kerala for sure. Top three. Just chilies, red chili flakes, and beef. So good. Like I said, the last thing was delicious too, the nuts. But Kingfisher's the end for the win, bro. Thank you, thank you. And guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Kanor, North Kerala, India. Peace. Dude, thank you. This is awesome. Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful Kanor, Kerala, India. Today I'm super excited because I'm going into the fish market to buy some fish for breakfast. This is a massive fish market. There's two different sections. There's a section where they offer the fish from the beach and then you have a section where they're just selling mad fish and they're auctioning the fish off, right? So we're gonna buy some fish, we're gonna try some chai and then we're going back to the Seashell Harris Beach Homes and then we're gonna have a huge feast. Southern Indian breakfast with fish fry, with appam. I can't wait, are you guys excited? Let's do this. So David, we'll start where they are having the bigger fishes. So we'll just check it out. I was surrounded by a huge crowd. Pretty amazing. Hey, hey. No, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Let's go, let's go. So this is where the fishes are sell. Like this is a sale market and that's the wholesale market where the fishermen buy from the other place. And there's an auction. This, that's the other place. That's the other place. So this is where we buy, like the local people go and buy from here. Wow. Other is the auction place where we buy in a bulk. Okay, let's go inside. So I love coming to fish markets. It really is a spectacle. Everybody's going crazy, cutting fish, buying fish, so many different. Whoa, look at this. Look at this one. A sailfish? What is that? Oh my god, can you pick it up? So you have kingfish, sailfish, you have marlin. They have a small shrimp. Oh my god, this is this is massive. <laughs> wow. Here we have the kingfish. Oh my god. Pick it up? Yeah. Whoa! The bad. The area outside over here is where they cut the bigger fishes and give to the nearby hotels and the people like that take the fish from here. Like they cut into pieces. Yeah, so I mean basically these are the fish butchers, right? Yeah, yeah the They'll, fish butchers. They take off the scales and they cut them into pieces. And now this guy's gonna cut the massive, massive marlin. Oh my god. This might be a little sensitive for some people. This is what it is, man. It's a raw market, really raw. Hardcore fish market. Just walk through here, buy some fish, they'll clean it for you, take it to your house, and cook. And that's what we're doing. We're gonna get some tuna, some sailfish. King kingfish and a bit of tuna fish. Wow. Okay. If you want, take this one. I will give discount. For free? For free? Not free. <laughs> this one is special for you. If you want? Come here, cutting and cleaning up. And this is a true fish market. It's wet. It's called a wet market. The reason why? Because they keep cleaning and all the water keeps falling. 
And over here, whoa, we have Stingray. Oh, we have Stingray. Wow, Stingray. What are those? Small sailfish? Small sailfish, right? I've never seen that Stingray before. So this is the area where the, they pack the fishes and load in the tracks over there and everything goes to Kar most parts in Karnataka and other cities in Kerala and where it's hill stations. So we are the nearby, nearby port where they, they get the fishes. So it's one of the best places in Kerala for fishing? No, this is the place where the boats come in, in this region. This so is. we are nearby to the Karnataka, like Bangalore, Mangalore. So everything just get exported from here. From here up. Yeah. So that's, that's the what, tracks you see there. Yeah, so that's what we're seeing here. It's in the Kakadam. Yeah, they're these big them. ice uh, containers, right? These they're big coolers. Packing. There's our fish. Kingfish. Love it. Fish fry. Oh, right in the gills. And it goes for the stomach. Woo! Right there. Cuts off fins. My turn. Alright. So right here. Right there. Cut two pieces, I cut it really, really bad. Yeah, that's good. You can do it really fast. It's a hard, it's like almost like a little axe, you know? It's a knife, but it's like, it's a really hard one. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands. Let's go fishing. Now we go seashell and make it in a flash fryer each together. Awesome, let's do it. I mean, they just pulled me over here so I could see all the fish being sent away. The fish with so much crushed ice. Crushed ice everywhere. I have to go, guys. Thank you. Thank you, that was awesome. The, the entire truck was like filled to the rim with tuna and marlin. So wild. All right, let's go, let's go. So now we are entering the harbor. This is the place where the boat comes in. They bring out the fishes and the people buy it in auction, like in bulk. Wow. Yeah, this, this is how they really sell fish, you know? Auctioning it off. Incredible. It's funny because you don't really see that around the world. They usually do it, but it's not, it's private. Here it's public. Just go in, buy whatever you want. Harbor. Another very fishy place. Yes, we have small boat coming here. Okay. The fresh fish coming here. Fresh fish. Local people all to buying the simple fish here. Yeah, yeah, amazing. So this is a fish market directly on the beach. On the beach. On the sand. On the sand. People are buying prawns, sailfish, everything, tuna, almost everything. everything. Same everything. thing as Because over there. the boat comes directly to here, they'll unload the fish. Because we are late, we couldn't see that. But they'll unload the buckets over here. People will gather around and they'll buy it in auction. Like, buy I need auction. this much. I need this bucket. We are getting very cheap. Very cheap. Yeah, I guess this is the first, right? So. <laughs> So the way it works like this, the fishermen come onto the beach with their catch and they auction it off. Once they auction it off, these guys buy it, right? And yeah. they put it for sale to the next person. To the next person. And the next so that's person. how it comes. And yeah. at the end, it distributes it. So in the beginning, it's like, it's like one rupee per fish. <laughs> no, 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 it's per kg. They tell it per kg. It starts at 200, and then the person say like 220, 250, 280. Sometimes yeah. there'll be their own people in between to raise the amount. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good, it's good. It's, it's funny, man. It's I mean, funny, it's funny. It, it's really cool, it's experience. I actually saw the same thing happen in Fort Kochi. Okay. If you were just auctioning, auctioning, auctioning. Auction. But yeah, I mean, this is, this is great. <laughs> and here we have cows, we have fish. All right, guys, I mean, that's basically it. We saw both fishing markets, so the main fish market and then the harbor fish market. That's what you can do. If you want to come here and see them auction a lot of fish off, come here at 6.30 in the morning. 6.30 in the morning. 6.30 you'll see them coming in, you know, in waves of boats, bringing all the fish, auctioning right away, and then it hits these mini markets right here, these mini vendors. Wow, and they just don't stop selling, huh? They sell, 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 sell. In the evening, the other boats come. Like in the evening, around like three, four, the other people come with the boats. Now the auction comes again. So it's like either in the early morning or in you should come in around like four or something like that for the evening section. Chai? Chai. So chai. Chai with chai. this ambient. Yeah. Two meter chai. No, don't tell me two meter chai. Okay. 
Okay. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, man. Mm, nice. Creamy. Creamy. Fluffy. Frothy. Every day. Every day. How many a day? Four, five. Forty. It's, <laughs> it's what gives me energy. It's funny because it has low caffeine, but if you have it at night, you stay up. So that keeps you up. Wow, my friend. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, super hot, milky. Incredible India. It's actually 10 rupees each, total 30 rupees. Wow. And 8 rupees for the snack which my dad just ate. You want the fresh local banana? Yeah. Yes. You can take here. Oh. Then. I'm not a good One for you. Mm. Very sweet. Very sweet. Oh, these are the best. This is the it's organic not... one. The organic one? They made it in his house. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is incredible. Yes. Sweet, ripe. Ah! Oh, man. I'm many hungry. <laughs> you can take one more? No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Besides fish, chai, bananas, there's also tons of fruit, watermelon, grapes. I don't even know what else I saw Oranges there. Oranges and many things like that. Yeah. Any many refreshing drinks and everything, they sell everything. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's so hot and all the fishermen, all the buyers yeah. come in, they have to have something to buy, right? Yeah, that's what this is. Perfect. So the difference between these two markets is that the one at the harbor is more for locals. You come here, you buy fish, even if you're like, you know, a tourist, you buy fish, you go to your hotel, you give it to them and they'll cook it for you, right? The other one is more for restaurants, hotels, etc., and they also export from there to other states. Really raw markets. What an experience. Get here early. There's a lot of cows walking around here. It's like northern India right now. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. mad cows. Cows everywhere. Alright, so we're missing one thing. We're gonna see the boats with the fishing nets. Huge casting nets. Actually, there are many boats than this, but everyone has gone deep in for the Monday market, like for the Monday. So they'll be staying in the sea for like two days or three days for the bigger fishers like what we saw, and they'll come back. So this is basically just the harbor. All the boats park here. They fix their nets. They go out for a few days. They come back and that's what they do. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Fish, sleep, repeat, right? Fish, sleep, repeat. And these guys right here are uh, putting together a big red casting net, huge. These are like massive nets, man. And all the boats, I love the boats. So huh. those, are, those are the thing, uh, small boats which goes like nearby, like not deep in the sea. But those one are the one that stays for a week or like three, four days. Those are bigger boats that stays for four days. These are one like a one day or a night or something like that. All right, they're telling me I can get on the boat, so let me see. Woo! <laughs> These are big boats. Whoa, that won't break, right? Amazing. So these go out for a day. They can't, obviously you can't sleep on them. Those you can sleep on. Wow. So basically this is the, the main guy, probably a few other crew members, they throw the nets, they wait a little while, they come back and they probably fish too, right? Enough of this. Let's go eat. Whoa! Oh my God. <laughs> the fish fry. Yes. Oh man, I love the appam. Appam, appam and dosa. Yeah, yeah. Appam. Appam and steam cake. And elayada. 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 In the banana leaf, the rice, some jankery, some coconut mix and boil that. That oh. is elayada. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. Yeah. Quick stop. Yeah. They're plugging out the muscles here. So it's a muscle vendor. He's opening the muscles. <laughs> this is great. What, what a great place. So many experiences in like two seconds here. Look at these muscles. Huge, huge muscles. You guys have just never ending amount of muscles here. Thousand muscles. Oh, whoa, look at this. Woo! So much. I've never seen a muscle vendor on a street like this in the middle of a city. It's incredible. So you're just taking them all out. Just opening them, taking them out, and they're really, really big. 
These are massive muscles. These are not small muscles, these are big muscles. <laughs> Actually, this catchy in the seashell, in the down, there is a big, big rock. So many rocks are there. Okay. People to go to there, getting down, and they catch, and they will give him. Oh, wow. So, wild muscles. Who would have known? This is this is sick. This is another incredible thing here. You bought some? Yeah, I already bought the muscle. Now we we go to this also take the breakfast. The fish, <laughs> muscle, everything. Seafood for breakfast. Muscle curry, fish fry, up bomb. Let's go. I'm starving. Now I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry. Seafood feast, man. <laughs> we are gonna have a big feast today. I've never had a seafood feast for breakfast. Yeah, man. Oh, great. Mussels, fish, and apple. Uh, delicious. <laughs> so, this is a shortcut to seashell? This is a beautiful shortcut to seashell. Through the backwater, without any traffic, we can go. Beautiful. All you have here is like palm trees, goats, yeah. cows, the bridge. I love it. It's super narrow road. So if there's another car, you have to like, get out. <laughs> We're almost there. Oh, my appetite. It's already almost 10 a.m. We're supposed to be eating at 8 a.m. But there's so much going on in this fish market, so it's all good though. It's gonna be worth it. Fish fry, and what are we gonna do? Muscle, muscle curry? Muscle fry. Muscle fry? Muscle fry. Muscle fry, perfect. And here we are, Seashell Harris Beach home. Look at that. Got the sea right there. We're gonna eat right here. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Still really early. Eben. Hi David, how are you? You awake? <laughs> uh, how was your experience? Amazing, man. He's couldn't our friend Sham. I, I had an appointment with him, that's why I couldn't join you in the morning. Sorry. No, no problem. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah. David, pleasure. Hey, so now we are gonna clean the fish to make it ready for the fry. Perfect. So you can see him making the putu, means the steam cake. So this is the putu. And we're gonna cut the fish over here in the back. Oh, everything's steaming up. So David, we are just gonna clean it now because we are, it's already cut from the market. So we'll just clean the fish to make it ready for them. I'll come in the to. So basically what he's doing right now is he's marinating the fish to fry. So what he's added is like, he, he's added the chili powder, he's gonna add the tamarind, the turmeric powder, and everything like that, and he'll with chili with garlic, things like that. So then he marinates it, once he's done, he just throws it in the fryer with oil. Coconut with, oil? With coconut oil. Always coconut oil. This is the secret of the fish fry taste. Actually, we love it to ask them outside. Little rice powder, we add this. The flavor is very good taste for the fish fry. So it's gonna be a crunchy, fried, spicy fish yes, fry. Yes, yes. Oh, spicy. Spicy. David likes spicy much, then we'll add the spice. Uh, give me all the spice. Yes. Give me all that masala in my mouth. <laughs> Actually, I get this recipe for my grandmother. Yeah? Yeah, my grandmother doing like that. The time I will go to sitting together here, then he will tell how to the taste, the fish and everything. Wow. I follow that. Yes, this just put the fish here. And little effects. The aroma is amazing. <laughs> the aroma is really like <laughs> <laughs> the chili hits you. <laughs> it gets stuck in you. No. Oh my god. Look, it's, it's cooking. I'm just waiting to eat that. I know, I know, I know. This looks oh man, it's gonna be phenomenal. Actually this is the steam cake. We are local calling putu. The rice flour, little coconut. Then the rice flour, little coconut, they like that three layer. Re regular we're doing this, the bamboo stick. Just now we're doing only for this. This is my chef. He's the best boy in the last 10 years working here. His hand is very nice. The all food are very tasty. He's doing to the muscle fry. So what we have added in these muscles is like we had added the Kashmiri chili, the turmeric powder, the ginger garlic paste of course and the main thing is the pepper. Like pepper is the one, is that spice that comes only in it. So we're gonna fry it now. So we're gonna fry it now. 
This is actually called muscle pepper fry. Yes. He added pepper and he also added curry leaves on top right now. Smells amazing, really spicy. Indian spice, like yes. ultra hot. Yes. <laughs> We call it as bhaji. This right. is potato, mashed potato, vegetables, and cooked with some gravy. Perfect. Wow. It goes well with appam, yeah. vegetarian food. Though I love mutton. <laughs> <laughs> we have the iconic fish fry. Oh, good. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Yeah. These fragments are pretty. And the mussels. Wow. Okay. David, these mussels, what you're seeing, they are gathering mussels there. You can see in the sea there. So they are gathering in the morning, they go, they go deep in These mussels stick on to uh, the rocks. So they gather them, they bring it in the market, we buy, we cook. Where do you like to start? Uh, Should uh -huh. I start from here? Should I start? Maybe we can start with the sweets. Yeah. We'll start with Eleda. Eleda, I don't know how we can translate it in English. Anyway, it's an Indian breakfast, Kerala breakfast, which is steamed inside leaf. Sometimes it can be banana leaf, sometimes like this. It's stuffed with jaggery and coconut. So you can open this leaf. Don't eat the leaf. <laughs> it's edible, right? <laughs> it may be. I don't know. But okay. see this. Wow. Soft. It's steamed. Yeah. No oil. No oil at all. And you can just break and see. You can see jaggery and coconut mix. Compacted rice, you know. So this is a light meal. This is a light meal. <laughs> it's definitely a meal. Mm. Mm. And there are different versions for this. If you travel from south of Kerala to north of Kerala, you'll find different varieties of adaisa. This wow. is steamed. Mm. In some cases, there are baked. Or this is mashed potato. Mashed potato, yeah. Mashed potato with some other vegetables. If you get a green chili inside that, it's the best. Green chili? Yeah. If you get mm. from the from the gravy. Oh, it's gonna be good. All of them are best. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, it's okay. So it's tender. Spiky mouth. So tender. And I guess we should get mussels too. Yeah. Please. Alright, so I'll just serve a little bit to myself and I'll serve you. Even if the leaf is there, no problem. These leaves gives an added value. Yeah. Take this one, okay? Piece of lemon. No, for the fish. I for the fish as well as for the squid also. No? Yes. Alice, is it? Oh, no, muscles. 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 Little, yeah. Bring a little fish. I love it. This fish doesn't have lots of bones. Just a little bit. Right there. Try. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> oh man, good the salad. Not so spicy. We call it's it so as aikura. This Aik fish. Aikora. Aikora is kingfish. Kingfish. Juicy, little tender. Mm. Um, I like the, because there's, there's some rice flour in it, right? Gives a little crispiness. Mm. And so do you mix this with the, some of the kingfish? Yeah, we can. We can. And also in between, you can try this one. Mm -hmm. Kalimaka. You know why it is known as Kalimaka? No. Kalu means stone. Ka means fruit. They stick on to the stone. So as we pluck it from there, it's fruit from the stone. Wow. Okay. Wow. Super. They got some sand. This from the belly. It's good. It means it's natural. It's real mm. organic. Mm. It's not farm. Mm. No. Mm. Ah, with that lemon, mm. oh, perfect texture, mm. spice level, it's perfect. 
But you, you can organic pepper with over there. Mm -hmm. I don't organic take. pepper and the spices. Ah, stop. Mm. My personal favorite is the mussels in terms of seafood. Mm. Mm. It's just like when I got some salad. Open. Wow. Even though this was brunch, it was incredibly delicious. I've never had seafood for breakfast. I've had sushi for breakfast, not a seafood feast. Yeah. Loved it. Love the spice. I gotta give a big thanks to my friends here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Seashells, Paris, Beach, Homes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this guy, we had a trip in the fish market, by the way. Yeah. Me and him? Oh my god. You're the man. He's always very friendly. Yeah. So we explored the fish market. We went through. We saw this uh, swordfish, marlin, tuna. They were cutting the fish. They were packing the fish, shipping it off. Then after them, we went to the harbor. We saw the market there. We saw them auction off some, you know, some fish, some prawns. Saw the entire thing there. I mean, the experience alone is going there. It's just really, really cool. Tried some chai. Then we saw the boats. Came here. We made this feast, and I gotta say, it's one of my favorites so far. In terms of breakfast, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of the pom's though. I'm getting an apom. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. It's kind of my channel, my friend's channel, and we'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Kerala, India. Have a nice time. Mm. Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Kannar, North Kerala, India. Today I'm gonna to take you on a seafood adventure of the old town, the Teki. We're gonna to go to many restaurants, I think at least two, because today is Sunday, so a lot of restaurants are closed. We're going to one of the most famous ones, which is right behind me, this one, and that one's also really famous. And then after this, we're driving one hour south to Mahe. Mahe is a union territory. If you guys don't know about India, India has 28 states and seven union territories, which are basically governed by the federal government. Mahe is part of Pondicherry Union Territory, which is in Tamanadu, but you know, basically, they're small union territories within the state. They're not part of the state, but literally inside, right? And because of that, there's no tax, and they sell brandy. You can't go in and take the brandy out. You have to pay taxes if you want to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, try some brandy, and that's it. You guys ready? I'm super hungry. I want some, what, mussels, fish, and fish, and fish. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. This one, Malayatu. The hotel's name is Malayatu. It's also the place name, famous. Washing hands? Yeah, let's wash hands. Have you eaten here before? Yeah, I've eaten it. Yeah? Like my childhood times, I've been here with my dad. David, this one is buttermilk, and if you look at here, this is Aikura, otherwise kingfish fried. We had kingfish this morning. And this is Kalumakai, once again, mussels. And this is chili gravy, and beef. Pachuri is a vegetable yogurt curry, and there is also more vegetable curries and the beans. David, this is not the way how you have to use a leaf. It should be straight. This end should be towards your left. Okay? So this is the right way. So now what we have to do is like we have to make two holes okay. for the two curries that's gonna come now. One goes for the fish fish curry. Okay. Another one for the veg curry. Amazing. Wow. That's nice. Here comes the veg. Whoa, this is cool. I haven't seen something like this before. So the, this is the pachari. Okay. This is the pickle, lemon pickle. And then comes to like the veg fries and so Yeah. It's also pickle. It differs, like each day it will be different. Some okay. days it will be cabbage. You need to have a mackerel or a kingfish. They have mackerel as well as kingfish. Mackerel. Mackerel. So, Pligar I always go. This is buttermilk. So, you can either drink it or you can mix with rice and enjoy it. He's the owner of this shop and his name is Joe, Joe Satan, we should say. And this shop was started, this restaurant was started in 1957. 1957. And this is Kalumaka, mussels. And more, this is chili gravy. So you can have some spicy chili gravy, sambar, not vegetable curry, plus fish curry, and whatever you like. Enjoy. 
Uh, I think we should start with the fish curd. Sure. Okay. So right here, just get a little bit, right? We get a bit of rice, we'll mix it well. I'm a little nervous, there's a bone right here. You have to be very careful with the bones. Yeah, this one's easy though. So Not so bad. Yeah, see the macro's a little different than the kingfish, right? Yeah. In terms of bones. Right, so we're gonna mix a bit here. We'll take a small piece from the fish curry, and you only have one. Okay. Mmm. Nice and creamy. Not too spicy. Not too spicy. Not too spicy. Mmm. Oh, it bl blends really well with the grain. It's really good. The short, the short grain rice? Short rice. I like it. I like it way better than the long one. Yeah, it's different. It's diff everything is different. The curry is different. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is a delicious curry. Light on the spice, like I said before. Very creamy. And that's coconut? You think that's coconut? Or it's no? coconut. They add coconut. Mm -hmm. That has to be what it is. Wow. That's why it's not too spicy. Like. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Really good. It's really, really good. Should we jump onto this one next or do no, you we'll, just start jumping around? We'll try this one, the veg one. Okay. Then we'll try mixing the other vegetables. And then you grab something else, right? Some pickles? Then we can add, we can try something of this. Okay, so grab some of this. Some of that. Together. Mix it well. Perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's better. Wow. This vegetable is called kovaka and it's dry fried. Blends really well here. Give it, gives it a nice like soury taste. Yeah. Mm. 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 is really good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Big contrast, right? Because it's a light curry, and then you have a sour, sorry, like a punch. Whoa. What's next? I think we'll try with the fish. Okay. We'll try the fish alone. See how it tastes. So I got the macro and you got the king. I got the kingfish. Mmm. Mm. Oh wow. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. My nice and salty. Super salty. Keep it super. Mm-hmm. Nice and salty. Wow, the flesh. Look at that. Just pull Perfect apart. spice and everything. I think of the spices here, there's so many, you know? And how do you, I mean, I guess it's like certain ones you always use, like gum masala. Yeah, like, masala. It's almost in your face. The spices are almost in. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the macro with the rice. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Love That's it. a great combination with the fish. Mm hmm. Yeah. Fish curry and the fish. So. Mm. Wow. wow, so good. This one, mine's a little spicy, a little bit. Mine is perfect. The kingfish is perfect. Yeah. It's perfectly cooked. The spice is really good. This, this guy eats kingfish three times a day. <laughs> <laughs> it's like eat like a king. So eat king. Hey, you know? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Next, up, we're gonna try some chilies. So you said to put some of this on top of the rice, right? And then you mix it. Ready to try it. Spicy one. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Another sour one. Another sour one. No, no, yeah. Not that spicy as we expected. Not so spicy. And then here we have the asga. Asga, we we'll try that. Asga. Pull it down. So asga with yogurt. Let's grab some, put it straight in. Mm. Wow. Whoa. That's really good. Yeah, that's like a super moist yogurt. Mm, is that curry leaf too? That's curry leaf? That's curry leaf. Mm. Oh, love the combination, man. So what you're supposed to do is go from the, the hot to this. You know, to cool it down. To cool it down. I think, I think what we're missing is my favorite thing. Oh, we are missing. The fruit from the rocks. Kalumaka. <laughs> what we call Kalumaka. Kalumaka. We try to eat it barely now. Just like that, right? Straight? Mm. Oh my God. Whoa. That's really good. Now I think we need this one to put I it think down. so, I think so. <laughs> What's cool is that it has like uh, like crispy onions too. Yeah. Oh. It's really good. If you come to Kanor, this is the number one dish for me. Kalimoka. 
And the beef chili from yesterday, but this is seafood wise, oh, it's so good. Nice and clumpy. Mm. So succulent, you know? Mm. A little salty. The heat too. The curry leaves. Yeah, now I get some of this. Try this one. I hold it down. Mm. What a feast, man. What a feast. This is the first place we're going to. <laughs> Dude, I love the macro. Mm, no problem. We keep finding more bones. I think the only thing we're missing here, buttermilk. Oh, the buttermilk. And that's another thing to cool on the heat, right? With some jazz. I love the cups, dude. It's like shot glasses. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Coriander. What was yeah, that? coriander. We yeah, actually added a bit of buttermilk. That's Quite well, this is amazing buttermilk. Yeah. This is yeah. not like usually. Usually, I hate them. Yeah. Not, but this is perfect. Yeah, yeah. this is a little spicy. So, what's in buttermilk? Basically, coriander, chilies, curry leaves, ginger, and Dug. and char shallots too. Shallots, yeah, shallots. Right. That's what gives the taste. Too. This is the best one I've ever had. I love the spice. It's spicy. Right? It's spicy. It's like Normally a, how we drink this is like. They pour in the hand and we drink that like that. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Wow. That's how we drink. The heat is not too crazy. Food's delicious. Macro was fantastic. Muscles. That's I mean, the best. I mean, they're the best. <laughs> That's the best thing. I can keep eating them. Mm. Mm. If you never had spicy seafood, you're missing out. You can eat it the whole day. Me too. Like that, mix in. It's like a stir fry. Crispy onions, curries, masala. You can't stop eating. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I would eat this and forget the rice. Oh man, this food is so good, but we still have to leave some space because we have to eat an egg biryani now. Egg biryani? Chicken biryani with an egg. Did uh, chicken lay it there? <laughs> <laughs> 300 rupees? Yeah, nice. Me... All right, that's still very affordable. It's five dollars. Yeah. Wow. And when we came in here, it was pretty empty. But now it's 12:30. It is packed. Packed. Yeah. Selfie. Selfie. Woo! Now we'll try some biryani. If you want to try your luck, you can buy a lottery. This is Kerala government's lottery. Really? Yeah. This is Kerala government's lottery. How much is for the lottery? This one? 30 rupees. 30 rupees. You want to try? Yeah. If you win, you are going to get 70 lakhs, which means seven million money, Indian money. So give 10 presentation. <laughs> 100,000 US dollars. That's a good deal. For 30? 50 cents and you can get $100,000? Let's take all of them. They, they sell the meals and this is the place where they sell the biryani. They both are the single shop, but two separate. separate. And it's called Hotel Jaya. Jaya Hotel. Nice. Alright, let's go. Yeah, yeah. that was a try. Try the biryani? Biryani is on banana leaf. That gives an added feeling. Good that? I like this. It's different. So you're eating the biryani on top of banana leaf. Gives it a different taste, right? Okay, so we're gonna go to the back. See how they do the biryani. Well, now we're, gonna, we're not gonna see how they do it. We're just gonna see it in the pot. Oh, wow. We almost finished. Like, we are late. So we have a small portion left over here. Uh. Try it inside. Thank you. <laughs> okay, what are we doing here? Okay, let's start. With. These are chutney. This is sweet root carrot chutney with ginger and other things. And here we have coconut chutney and this is salad. So what we can do is we start tasting the chutneys and salad. Then we go inside. Biryani, egg, chicken. <laughs> we just go inside. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, okay. Right. Perfect. So, I've actually never seen the, the beetroot. Uh, beetroot plus carrots. That's so different. So let's try. For me, it was the first time like this. Oh, yeah. But I had tried something else. But this is the first time. Take like this. So, so we just try like this, right? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Mm. Oh, wow. Ooh. 
<laughs> it has a pickle taste. Mm -hmm. It's like very sour. Yeah, first yeah. time, first time I'm trying this. Mm. It's quite similar to pickle. Yeah. It's much similar to pickle. And I can sense the taste of ginger. Yeah. It's strong. Yeah, very strong. And spicy. I think vinegar after. I think that sour taste is from vinegar. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a great chutney. Yeah, I like it. Good. Next one. Let's try now coconut chutney. Let's get the smell, right? <laughs> yeah. You get, do you get that chili fragrance? Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, it. Man. It's green chili. Yeah. Real green chili. Oh, wow. Mm. Coconut taste, that creamy oh. taste of coconut and green chili. Super, super good. Tiny coconut with spice. Yeah. Mm. That's the best combination. Now we can go in. Now we can go in? Let's take out the chicken piece and keep it aside. Okay, se separate it. Perfect. And egg to another side. Okay, so a different side, okay? Yeah. So gather all the rice together to the center. Wow, it's gonna be like creamy, huh? Yeah. Mix that spices. 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 So you gotta keep mixing, right? Yeah. When we mix all these masalas together, that masala taste will be mixed with the rice. Yeah, you don't want to leave any rice yeah. like without masala. Yeah, yeah there's no, no point, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghee. Yeah. Just ghee. Once it's done, uh -huh. let's break some chicken. Okay. Oh, that fell apart easily. Yeah. We can either make it inside and mix it. Yeah, like this. Okay. Make it heat. Make it small handful. Not fried. It's fried. It's fried? Yeah. Then it must be a super light fry. Yeah. Not like light the crispy one, the other one. Light fry. I was thinking it's like boiled. It almost feels boiled. It's yeah, so boiled normally. Okay. But this is slightly fried. Lightly. Wow. That's good. Good. Different. I think we should add like maybe some beef or something into it. Yeah. Right? Something. Wow. That's going to be a flavor we haven't tried with the biryani. Yeah. This is the first time for me. And first time for you. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, good. That's spicy too. Mm -hmm. The chutney. But biryani is not at all spicy. Yeah. I mean, it's not hot. But that aroma. Mm -hmm. And flavor. And real flavor. Yeah. Do we jump with the egg? Yeah. Alright. We can break the egg. So break the egg. Don't mix as you break. Just take one small piece. Okay, take a small piece. And then grab some rice. Oh wow. Mm. 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 You get that flavor of the egg plus biryani. Well, yeah, it feels like a, a duck laid an egg here. <laughs> Not that, not that. Chicken. <laughs> now let's mix the coconut and chili chutney. Grab a little bit, put it right here. Just mix, mix, mix. And then I'll probably just grab another little piece of chicken right there. Mm. Mm. For me, it's always a star. Coconut, spicy chutney. Because of the coconut, creaminess of coconut, mm -hmm. as well as green chili, that spicy green chili. That that's like straight up the chutney of Kerala. Mm -hmm. Coconut yeah. chili. Yeah. In Kerala, we love coconut. As I told you before. I know. I know. I mean, that's what Kerala. That's what it means. <laughs> yeah, Kerala, Kerala. <laughs> we can also do like this. Take the egg, uh -huh. fill the egg with rice like this. Okay. With small portion of Chicken on the top. <laughs> chutney, both color. Okay. A little more coconut chutney on the top. And take like this. I mean, yours is beautiful. Mine looks like hell. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. The textures. It's like. Egg, chutney, biryani sandwich. <laughs> You made new brother, so you have some. <laughs>
How many times you have tried biryani in Kerala? Four times in three days. It's between North and Kerala. Am I right? Only North Kerala. Only North. It's big up here. Yeah. Biryani from South Kerala too. They have slightly different taste. They are also good. Well, but we had to try many other things from South. So we kept biryanis for North because North is more special for biryani. Okay. Yeah, I mean every single biryani has like sort of exceeded my expectations from the last one, you know? Thank, okay, you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thanks, thanks. <laughs> the total cost was 90 per person, so 180 total, less than 3 US, and the reason why my friend didn't eat is because he ate a lot earlier. I'm the one overeating here. <laughs> and we're gonna have some coconuts right now. Coconuts, yeah, can we have one? We are not going to try just coconut, tender coconut. We are going to try uh, tender coconut shake. Awesome. Yeah. The tender coconut. It's 40 rupees each. You can, you can have a try. Mm. Wow. Wow. That's like if they just pulled the flesh out and grinded it. That's it. Yeah. Again, we get the taste of the tender coconut water. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, it's, it's that's basically what it is. It's like the water and the tender coconut. Yeah, both. The flesh. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my god, I can have another one. Forty rupees, two for a dollar. Wow. In this heat, you need this. The tender coconut was perfect. The best thing in the world to digest all that food. Oh, guys, I feel great. The food here is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Some of the best in India, for sure. Seafood wise, wow. Biryani, stupendous. Like, Hyderabad biryani is great. Obviously, it's world famous. But come to Kerala and try some delicious biryani in northern Kerala. And now, guys, I'm gonna go try some brandy. We're going to Mahe. Mahe? The Union Territory. So I think it's about a one hour drive. One, one hour, 15 minutes. One hour, 15 minutes, okay, that's not bad. David, we are in Talasheri. Usually Talasheri is a very crowded town, but now all the <laughs> shops are closed because it's Sunday and we are going smooth. Yeah, Talasheri is a place we visited a few days back. The fort, Briani, the pier, uh, the shake, what else? And the beach, right? Yeah. And oh, the beach. Well, we're still about 25 minutes out from Mahe, and uh, yeah, luckily it's Sunday. Everything's gonna be open there, right, Brandon? Because today's Sunday, it's closed. Tomorrow, yeah. but in Mahe. Mahe, yeah. Everything's open. Okay. Hope so, because if not, we drove in an hour plus for nothing. We'll enjoy Mahe. I know, I know. At least we're gonna go to a uh, uh, UT territory. Yeah, you need to. <laughs> <laughs> we are entering Mahe after this bridge. It's Mahe. And there is Sintresa Shrine. We will first stop at Sintresa Shrine. The second you pass the bridge, all you see is wines, brandy, wines. No tax. Tax free. We made it. Mahi, Union Territory. Okay. Let's go try some brandy. Brandy, liquor shops, wine shops everywhere. On this corner, you have like four wine shops. New Jolly Wines. You have this one right here, lots of brandy, whiskey, XL wines. Over there you have mango, manjo traders, manjo traders. And then over here we have more wines and bars. So bars, wineries, what's up guys? Hi. Wine, brandy, okay. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna go into this bar right here and try something, for sure. This is awesome. This shop has Bacardi, they have whiskey, and they have this. Magic moments. This is Indian vodka. Indian vodka. This Flavor. Is Bacardi Indian there. Wow. Can, you, can I try some? <laughs> Joke. I'm going to the bar. I'm going to the bar. Thanks, dude. So we came into this bar. It's a little dark, and you know I'm not shooting around because I'm trying to give everybody their privacy. People come to this town to drink. It's a bar town, and yeah, the way it works is that you buy a bottle. This is Oro. This is a brandy made in Karnataka, Karnataka. And uh, it looks really good. Uh, we're getting a sampler. They gave me a little sampler. I think this is like a 60 or 90 uh, milliliter, right? And yeah, so you buy the bottle here, you drink it here. You do not take it out into the state. It's illegal and it's tax-free, so it's definitely affordable. So the way it works, I gotta pour it in this glass. 
I'm personally a big fan of brandy in terms of like anything outside of wine or beer, I prefer brandy. Smooth, strong, but smooth. Woo! <laughs> Oro. So let me read to you what it says here. There's brandy and there's brandy. <laughs> oh man. It's cool. This is something very unique here in uh, in Kerala. I mean, I don't think you'd find it anywhere else in the country except in six other spots, right? Because there's seven territories. This is one, but it's also part of Pondicherry. So if you go to Tamanandu, you can also go to Pondicherry, which is a French settlement, right? And very similar, I'm sure, over there too. It's good. Woo! All right, let's go explore. Bye. These are ground nuts, otherwise peanuts, roasted. So roasted peanuts. Okay. Mm -hmm. good. Mm. Super salty, good roast, wow. Good snack. We're gonna see a beach here, Mahe. I didn't know there was a beach here, but there is. There's also like a Christian shrine. I just saw it now. I had no idea about it. I mean, I think if you're gonna pass through and you're not looking for, obviously, the alcohol, you should definitely stop there. It's, it's weird to mix those two. I mean, shouldn't. Whoa, so this is a, so it's a beach slash boardwalk here. It's like a park. People come here and sit around. This is the river and the sides are Arabian Sea. And the bridge that we came across, that is the one, okay? And this is a park or a walkway, whatever you say. So there's a walkway here and you can sit here and relax. People come here, especially in the evening, they come and relax here. Nice breeze, there are fishermen boats here. Yeah. I mean, where we were before, it was super hot. You get over here, you don't even feel the sun. Yeah. Nice breeze, like virgin beach right there. Yeah. What an amazing beach. Fisherman boats, like you said, and that's the bridge that connects yeah. Mahe and you know the state. Kanu. 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 So that was Mahe. Union territory, there's only seven in the entire country of India and this is governed by the federal government, not the state government. That's the biggest difference. That's why it's tax-free. You can drink alcohol here. That's it. Let's go. Before we crossed the bridge, we saw another like dozen wine and bars. Like wine shops and bars. Crazy. That is like the most concentrated area I've ever seen of bars and wine slash liquor shops. This is like so every territory is like that? Similar? No, no. No, no. I have not traveled to all the territories, so I can't say that. Yeah, so, so which ones do you know? Pondicherry is in Tamil, and where, where's the other ones? Pondicherry, Damanju in uh, Goa, sorry, Gujarat, and Lakshadweep. Uh, it's not. Lakshadweep doesn't have any of these bars. Okay. So, so, so it's there are exceptions, yeah. Okay. We're home. So, surprise, surprise, they changed my room. They gave me this room right here with the best view of the beach and the sea. Oh, that's great. This one? I was staying on the other part of the property and now they moved me here. Love this room. King size bed. Got a desk right here so I can work with this view. Look at that. Got the sea right there. Mini terrace. You know what? Let me show you the beach. Let's go. Let's go straight. And go out. Look at this, dude! It's amazing, Evan. Wow! Look at this beach. Incredible. The beach is like it's like a mini peninsula. You have the backwaters. You have the sea. You have the fishermen. Right here we have rocks. This, my friends, is off the beaten path destinations. This is what I'm talking about when you travel. Hey, what places like this people don't know about? Why would you go to every place that everybody talks about? Look it up. Travel to Kerala, Kanur district. Come here. Seashell, Harris, Beach Homes. Love this place. Today was an epic, epic day. Super on day. You know, we ate seafood, lots of seafood. Wow, so good, the macro, wow, the macro. Oh, with the rice, chilies, chutney, fantastic. After that, we had some biryani with eggs, so chicken biryani with egg, 
incredible. We have some coconut, it's like a coconut shake. It was more like a, like a watered down shake. It was basically the coconut flesh and coconut water mixed, blended together, delicious. Then we drove an hour south to Mahe. We saw that, Union Territory, one of seven. It's actually part of Pondicherry, which is in Tamaladu. Tried some brandy, saw the boardwalk, saw the church right there. That's it, drove back up here, came here, saw my new room. Love this hotel, love it, love it. You guys have to come here. It's really, really, not to be in past place. It's really something special. The family here, I mean, they're super like, they make you part of the family. That's what I love. And when you're thinking about coming to Canada, you have to come to this property. The family here, they're so nice. They're such real people. I love that. They give you local experience. And yeah, guys, what else can I tell you? If you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. Let's get the next travel food adventure in Kerala, India. Love incredible India. So diverse, so amazing. Let's go. everyone this is David Hoffman from David Spin here coming at you from Northern Kerala India today I'm very excited because it's my last day I'm doing a road trip from Kanor all the way back down to Calicut and we're doing a breakfast food tour road trip basically we're having breakfast here in Teleseri here at Bombay Hotel then we're gonna be having brunch at another spot about an hour away and then finally ending it in Calicut with lunch I'm super excited I'm very hungry it's 7 in the morning let's go inside the Bombay Hotel and eat some food. Woo. We are traveling from Kanur to Korikot and at this time of morning, we will find many restaurants. And this one is one of the best in Thalassery. Plenty of snacks, it's too early for us. So we'll have some morning breakfast and then we'll go ahead. We'll try string hoppers and I'm going to try string hoppers. What do you want? There's appam. There's also puri, there's paratha. So if you want string hoppers, we can try string hoppers and maybe egg curry. It's my last day in India, so I'm going with string hoppers and egg curry. Okay. Yeah, because the next place, we'll probably try a lot more stuff. Keep it light. <laughs> string hoppers with egg curry. Oh, 
And that's ginger, right? This is chickpea, not uh, egg curry. It has slightly mild spice. When we try with chickpea, we can chew the chickpea and blend that spices with chickpea's taste and medium. Perfect. The string hoppers in the chai were so good, but I had to keep it light because we have another spot to hit up in about 45 minutes. Wow, good, good egg curry. That's the, that's the other one, it's the chickpea, right? Wow. The total amount is 150 rupees. One? One eighty. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. All right, we did it. Amazing string hoppers with egg curry and chai. Total price, one eighty. One eighty, which is basically like three U.S. dollars for all three of us to eat string hoppers, egg curry, and chai. And he also got the chickpea curry. And then, just so you guys know, this place opens at seven in the morning until 10 p.m. No credit, obviously, always cash. In India, you always have to carry cash. Almost no place takes credit unless you go to like a, you know, a real hotel or like a super high-end restaurant. So let's continue this road trip. We have about one hour to the next spot. You good? Everything good? Good, good. We are traveling from Talaseri to Kurikor. On the way, we will stop at Vadagara. Vadagara is a small town on the way. And we'll have our brunch there. This is a restaurant called Amaria restaurant that used to be very famous. I do not know how it is. I never tried food there, but I got suggestions. People say that you should stop there and try. We're now passing Mahe, a union territory in India. Yesterday I visited this place. Basically, because it's union territory, there's tax free and they sell alcohol. Came here, tried some brandy, saw the boardwalk, tons of wine shops, liquor shops all over the place. So if you're ever passing through here, you definitely stop here, try some brandy, some wine, some beer, but you can't take it out of the union territory, so you have to drink it here. Oh my god, traffic jam. After a 40 minute drive, we arrived at Baragara. Baragara, Baragara is the place name. MRA Bakery and Restaurant. MRA Bakery. What is it? So this restaurant has been here since 1965 and it's right here on the main road. Road's right here. David, this is a bakery area and we are going to the restaurant. You want to try some cakes? I mean, they look good. Everything is coconut, right? Coconut? <laughs> Jaggery coconut? <laughs> you display like round cake. Lots of sweets here. That cakes. What are these? Oh, these look amazing. These are like chocolate little rolls. Yeah. Oh my god. That's like baklava. Yeah, that's all this Turkish, right? Some more cakes. And look at this. And here at the very back, we have the restaurant with all the snacks. Here we have some bada, samosa. They are still making snacks. By noon, all these places will be free. If you want to try vada, samosa, alu bonda, egg bonda, you want to try something, you can try. David, you tell me what all you need. Do you need vada? Yeah, vada. Uh, Parambari? Always. <laughs> one or two? One, one. One. Samosa? Yeah. Egg bonda? There is an egg inside this. Okay. Potatoes bonda. Bread pakoda. Bread pakoda, okay. Bread pakoda. Planting field. Stuffed planting. This is kalumaka. Mussels. Need two of those. Here we have the chai master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name? Sahir. Sahir. Yeah. You're gonna do two meter chai. Two, two meters. meters. Whoa. David. Take. Take? Alright, the muscle for sure. Ooh. Drop that. Uh, banana. You should try this one. Let's try that one over this one. Yeah. The stuffed plantain. Ooh. Whoa. You should try this one. That one too? Wow. You should, you should try this one. <laughs> try all of them. Try this one. I'll try, I'll try. You try something. <laughs> There's this chicken curry that we have. Okay. So you've never tried this before? Never tried it before this week. Okay. But with paramburi, I have tried duck roast. I'll take this, I'll take this, and I'll take... No, this is not. <laughs> Alright, so do I just start with this guy? Like a sandwich? Yeah. Lettuce? 
Not sandwich, it's pakora. Bread pakora. Bread pakora. So basically, it's two pieces of bread, and then in the middle, you have like masala, onions, potatoes. So you have like a fried sandwich masala, which is called bread pakora. Yes. Let's take a bite? Yeah. Whoa. Nice crispy sandwich. Mm. Basically, like a bread sandwich. Mm -hmm. Doughy bread, like still very fluffy in the middle. Outside, very crispy. A little spicy too. Yeah. Yeah. Good? Mm -hmm. So, what you is just add a little bit of chicken curry on the top. Whoa. Okay. Is it? Mm. Delicious. <laughs> mm. The chicken curry is like so it's tomato based, but it's a little, little creamy. Creamy. Most probably, maybe they must have added some. Should I break this one? Yeah. You can try planting, filled planting, okay. stuffed planting. So I'm trying parambuli. So you mix it with the curry. You try both ways. Mine's super sweet. Mm -hmm. Steam the planting first. Okay. And they cut open, slit, and fill uh, coconut, sweets, whatever they want to do. Inside yeah, here. Inside. So I'm just going to take a bite in the middle. Good. So sweet. Mm. Coconut, sugar, mixed. Oh, I love it. The coconut? Wow. I think they put some jaggedy, right? Yeah. Have to be. If you mix with curry, you won't get that real taste of that. Mmm. Mmm. So much coconuts here. I mean, for me, I just go in like this. <laughs> oh my god. The sweetness. It's like overload. It's almost a like dessert because sweet filling and sweet outside. Because they cook it again after filling it. Okay. So the coconut and milk get caramelized. Oh wow. That's why that blend of taste with plantain should come. One of the best banana dishes I've tried. Mm -hmm. So the mussels right here, and the remaining is rice flour. So it's not stuffed into it. It's on the outside. Some people do it by stuffing. Some people do it like this on the outside, right? Yeah. Mm. Nice packed rice. And there's a sticky ball. Mm. Well, the taste in the sea right there. Salty, good masala. Mm -hmm. But don't give you one muscle. <laughs> Best thing to do is get the you know this rice, this packed rice. Let it absorb some of that curry. Just like that. Alu bonda. You can open and see. Wow. So you have obviously alu with potatoes. Uh, I think it's coriander in there. Some other spices. spices yeah. Onion, maybe tomatoes. Okay. And carrot. This is a very soft ball. Not too crispy. Like very doughy. Mm. Nice spices. I think this is perfect for anybody that's a vegetarian, right? Yeah. And then you get over here. Then you are non vegetarian. And now you're not vegetarian. <laughs> See if you mix if you mix anything that's veg with any curry that has been cooked with you know non-veg chicken, yeah. chicken, then it's not veg. Mm. Mm. It's very great. Yeah, I don't even touch my chicken yet. Mm. That was organic chicken. With wow. this, oh, a bit of chai is good. Yeah, that too magical tea. And this is it was called dancing chai. No, also, ma magic tea. Ah, yeah. Here yeah. they call it as magic tea. Magic tea. Okay. There you went to Bombay or Chile. Yeah, and had dancing chai. That was dancing chai. Which is biryani chai. Yeah. Because the layers, right? So you mix like that. Yeah. Mix. So, Mix well. Yeah. Yeah. The sugar, the sugar, the tea, the milk, milk, everything yeah. should get mixed. Perfect. Sweet, no? No, it's sweet. Super sweet. Super sweet, not too hot. We obviously let it sit there for like five minutes, so it wasn't like boiling. Another good chai. 
Yeah. What's crazy is that every single place, it's a little different, right? Yeah, but it's a full glass of chai. Usually chai is small. Yeah, it's half. Yeah, but this is full. Oh. You want only chicken? The, no, 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 only the gravy. On, on. On top? Yes. Like that, huh? Usually, as you said, what I say, vegetarian course. But now we have mixed with chicken curry. In some places here, we have idli with mota curry that is egg roast. Oh wow. And idli with mutton curry. So pure veg with pure knowledge. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so let's try this one. Do you should try it, brother? I'll try, I'll try. Okay. Oh! Mm. Oh yeah. How do you feel? Mm. This one's not so crispy. Like inside it is it's soft, mm -hmm. but outside it's crispy. Yeah. And again, you mix it with curry, so it's not going to remain crispy. Yeah, I mean, it absorbs it, right? Yeah. Mm. Hold on, my friend. Thank you. I think everything was delicious. My favorite thing was definitely the stuffed plantain. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. yeah. I mean, just the inside, the coconut. I ha we haven't had that much like coconut like that, like coconut shaves. Mm -hmm. We haven't oh, had it on much. A little. A little, yeah. But, but not like that. It's but almost like here. Yeah. And this restaurant is pretty amazing. I mean, besides being a restaurant, bakery, you try endless snacks that are not fried, more sweets. They do have breakfast as well, but we had our breakfast, so I thought, okay, let's go with snacks. Yeah. And then from here, we are going to Cori Cor. We will have detailed lunch. Proper lunch. Probably. <laughs> And on the way, maybe we will stop somewhere else. Okay. Basically. Not for eating. I'm, I'm done. I can't eat anymore. <laughs> so the owner just brought me a cayucatelli. So I think this is coconut, right? Coconut? Caju, 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 caju. Caju nuts only? Mm. It's good. Yeah. It's sweet. Then, I think they have a food market here. Yes. Bananas, grapes, oranges, apples, Pineapples, melons, limes. Though they call it as bananas, these are the plantains. The real plantains and these are bananas. Okay. This is robusta. Grapes. Yeah. Everything. Almost everything. Pineapples. And I think fruits, white fruits, they come. They also have like all the dates. Look. The dates and nuts. Dates are of different varieties. Maybe some are from Saudi, some are from Dubai. The best one they say is this one, Ajwa. You want to try? So inside is a nut, right? Yeah. Mmm. It's a good day. Yeah, so this is all comes from the Middle East, right? Yeah. Mmm. Sticky. Chewy. Okay, so mm-hmm. I love this. Especially during Ramadan, you break the fast and you start the fast with this. Yeah. David, we are on the way to Kori Kod. We will take a small deviation here. We will go to Kapat Beach. There's the, there's the place where Vasco da Gama, the sailor, landed first time in India. And we arrived, Vasco da Gama Beach. In case you guys don't know who Vasco da Gama is, that was the first European to arrive in India via sea. He was Portuguese, he basically created the Cape Route, which was going from Europe, around Africa, all the way in the bottom, Cape of Good Hope, South Africa, made his way all the way over here and landed here in this area in 1498. After that, that was like the beginning of the spice trade via sea. It's pretty incredible, right? And here we have like a rock pier. You have some fishing boats, a place to play some soccer. And that's it. I think there's a monument around here. We just don't know exactly where it is because it's a long, long beach. Whoa, look at this. It's hot. Fisherman boat. Nice. Woo! Basso de Gama. One of the most famous explorers in history. If you guys don't know about the three most famous, start with Alexander the Great, you got Vasco da Gama, and Christopher Columbus. Those three, they traveled the whole world. We found the monument. This is it. Vasco da Gama landed right here, 1498. It's called Capacadavu. Capacadavu. Okay, okay, awesome. So this is the monument. It's a big pillar. It looks just like a mini uh, tombstone cool we did it <laughs> so that was about Kapad beach now we are going to Kori Kod. Kori Kod is almost 40 minutes drive from here let's hit the road a train's gonna cross let's see it up close I love this all over Corona I do this 
to stop and get really close to the trains. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. 